So I am finding that I really am stuck in life. I simply don't know what I should be doing with myself. So I've had a brain injury. Some time ago, I think possibly as long as a year ago, I really can't remember because the injuries affected my memory. So I basically don't have a memory. The the fact that I had an injury is is basically the only thing that I can say about what happened. I have no idea what happened, what led up to it, why it happened, etc. So I'm trying now to think of how I'm going to live, how I'm going to make any progress. Um, I don't remember anything of my previous life really apart from the equivalent of a contents page. So I know a company that I worked for, for example, and addresses of where I've lived. And that's pretty much where it ends. Um, I know some of my friends, most of them, but I don't know their phone numbers, for example. So it is just like a contents page. So I'm wondering how I'm going to make progress, how I'm going to do anything at all, really. I don't even know the first step. <laughs> because even if I f find the number of a friend and give them a call, I don't know what I would say, because I don't know them as people anymore. Um, they're just names, and, and that's the end of it. So I suppose I don't have friends anymore. So I am kind of cut off in the world. I do have a wife, or I used to have a wife. I believe I'm divorced from her. But I have no memory of that business or whatever. I also have two children. And all I know about them are their names. I don't know how old they are, but I'd imagine they're around about five. Um, it's beyond awful to be like this and um, I've, I'm struggling to find a way forward I don't know what I should be doing even first I could strive to make contact with my children but it seems kind of pointless if I don't remember them I don't know how that would work and I don't know if I'm allowed to either there might be some issue that I'm not aware of so I need to start making some progress in finding out the basic status of what my life is now. I'm in something called supported living at the moment, so I don't have to worry about how to survive on a basic level. But um, I'm concerned that I'm not doing much in the way of exercise or whatever. At the moment it just seems I've got a place to stay and I'm, I can eat and sleep somewhere safe but um, I really don't know what to do I'm trying to get into YouTube to keep myself occupied and to make some progress uh, in the past I made a video documentary so um, I am progressing to put that back on YouTube and the video documentary is called Man, Woman, Myth. One word. And that's the name that I use when I set this up. And it concerns the treatment of men and women in society. The relative treatment. And how they differ. And it's an anti-feminist project, I suppose. Because I very much disagree with feminism. Feminism and what it stands for. So I'm glad that that still exists. The, the, the original Man, Woman, Myth channel has disappeared, but someone made a copy of the videos. So um, at least the documentary still exists. I'm so grateful for it because not a lot else in life remains. And I put so much effort into that video project that it means a great deal to me that it still exists. Um, so I'm doing a bit of work on that as well, uh, uploading some of the videos again onto my channel.
once that is complete, I'm not sure what I'll do next. It's hard to know how to make progress. Um, because memory is pretty much everything in life. Try to imagine losing your memory. I mean, I don't even know where I was living, for example. I have addresses in my head. And I knew, I know that I owned a flat and a house. Um, I think the flat has been sold now, or in the process of being sold. And I think I was living there. Because obviously my, my wife, I'm, I might be divorced now, I'm not sure of the status. So I have two children that I don't even know. I just know their names. I don't know how old they are, I don't know anything about them at all. So I don't know if it's even possible to try and have a relationship there. So I don't feel like a father, I don't feel like I miss them for example. Because I don't know them at all, they're just names and I think I have some pictures of them. So that is everything. So it's a very scary life and I really haven't worked out yet how I'm going to make it happen, how I'm going to make it work. I don't know where to begin to be honest. I'm wondering about pushing, pushing to see them, see the children, because it's kind of pointless if I can't remember anything about them. I don't know how that would work. So I'm, I'm really praying that I improve and my memory returns, but I don't know if that's a possibility. So I, I'm, try, I'm trying to work out what life is now, because I don't actually know. Um, it's just eating and sleeping. And part of my injury is that it's affected my taste as well, my sense of taste. So I can't taste food very much at all, really. And that's amazingly serious because food is pretty much the only thing I have going for me in life. And to not have taste has a, is having a major impact on my mood and my enjoyment of life. Um, thankfully, I'm living in England and not in Croatia or somewhere backward. I'm very lucky. So I've got YouTube, I've got a computer. Um, I can entertain myself to an extent. So I use a stick to book the moment. My mobility is very much reduced. But um, I know that this could be a lot worse, so I'm grateful for the damage not being too terrible. So I am looking to communicate with people because I don't talk to anybody at all. I think I did the odd WhatsApp thing with friends, but it's hard to remember. And I don't know what to say to them anyway, because I don't remember anything. Really. So I'll stop for now. When I think of something else to say, I'll say it.